Hey you guys, Valley's on the Perfume Dot, back at you with a very fun perfume review. If you're new to my channel, my name is Valley Vaughn. Go ahead and subscribe if you really like perfume, if you like fragrances. It's probably why my channel is recommended to you. So if you like that kind of thing, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Share this with someone else who really likes fragrances and perfume and finding a great deal on fragrances as well. And also you can follow me on Instagram. It's Valley Vaughn the Perfume Don on there where I do even more one minute perfume reviews and other fun content. So go ahead and join my Perfume Mafia. So today I am going to share with you two scents from Isibiyaki, a Japanese fashion designer. So these scents are considered designer scents. They're not niche, but they are so under the radar. I never hear anyone talk about them to where I felt like I need to give them some shine. So let's go into it. The first one that I want to show you from Isimiyaki is going to be Low Dise Pure Nectar. And this one is a beautiful scent. This is such a beautiful feminine delicate scent. All of their scents I've noticed are going to be very fresh, minimalist, very abstract. And it's, it's reflective of the clothing that he produces as well. It's very avant-garde, modern, and just like a new way of thinking about it. So this is a new way of thinking about fragrance. It opens up, it has bergamot, it has pear, which is one of my favorite notes, that, that light citrus note that's not very zesty at all, but more it leans a little bit sweet and fresh. I love it and that's what you smell mostly it also has the honey in there for a top note and that's why it has the name nectar and you can smell that it just adds to a very nice calming inviting sweet opening that I absolutely love and for the middle notes that's where you're going to smell rose you're gonna smell peony that's what I smell mostly now it has other notes as well, but that's what you're mostly going to smell in the middle notes. For the base notes, that's where you're going to have ambergris, you have sandalwood. There's water notes in the heart notes as well, so you can smell that. And it just lights, it adds to the light freshness of the scent. And that's that's a common denominator amongst all Issey Miyake scents, that, that aquatic element that just kind of smells like you're, there, there's something else going on over here but there's spring water, there's a whale, there's a river over here. So for the base notes again, you have the ambergris, which is another element if you're unfamiliar with that note, it just adds more of like, um, almost like a, a sea scent to me, kind of like a salt water scent. It has sandalwood, so it smells like sandalwood that's just washed up on the beach, that kind of scent, or like uh, wood that was like sitting out by the water or on the beach, that scent very beautiful this is a very very beautiful it does have the white musk in there and you can smell that as well all in all this is a sweet airy uh, aquatic fresh scent with it just has a hint of sweet though that sets it apart from the other fragrances and i really enjoy this scent i absolutely love the bottle it's absolutely beautiful to me this is just the top which is like a cone it's, it's brassy it kind of has like I don't know if you can see, but there's like some um, rings around it in a sense. It looks very early 2000s, minimalist, um, fast forward to the future type. This is a glass bottle. It feels very luxe, but then it's painted at the bottom. It's almost like an ombre to like a goldish rose gold up here, more of like a goldish down here. Beautiful bottle, beautiful scent. I can't be mad at it. Let's move on to the other one that I'm going to review, and I actually just picked this up, and I thought this was my first Isimiyaki. I forgot that I picked up the other one because it is so different. Like, I forget because usually the scents look like how I'm going to show you this one looks. And this is Isimiyaki Low Dise. This is an eau de toilette. This is a frosted glass. It has the same thing except for silver up here, but you can see, you can see it better on this one. It has, like, rings around the top, a cylinder. A uh, cap and then the frosted glass here beautiful bottle both of these scents I have to I love this scent so much both of these scents I have to say they are light they are very delicate they are not intrusive at all they're great 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 for daytime great for a work scent just smells nice when people get close to you but uh, there's something about this scent to where it is long lasting and I don't know why, but I'm not going to hate on it because I love a long-lasting queen. 
For the top notes of L'Eau de Say or the Toilette, it has rose, it has rose water. It has an unexpected note and that's what just oh, surprises you and it's so beautiful. It's melon in there. Oh, I love it so much. It has freesia, which is what I can smell the most. But that melon's so pretty. Oh my God, it just adds the most perfect hint of a citrus element to just brighten it up and awaken you as soon as you as soon as you spray it just just a little bit of a citrus note in there and it's so sweet and subtle and beautiful it's well done together the rose the rose water you can really smell the rose water that's a huge standout to me the lotus flower just adds a little bit of like a tropical element almost to this scent and the middle notes is just going to be an uh, just beautiful flowers it has carnation has lily has lily of the valley and that's what you can really smell. When it gets down to the hard notes, the lily of the valley, just it's light, it's fresh. It reminds me of line dried linen. It's 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 really stunning. I think it's really interesting that for the base notes, they actually use tuberose, which is interesting because tuberose is usually used for a top note or a heart note. And that's what keeps the scent floral throughout. And it just, it smells like you just walked into a nursery as far as like flowers, not like babies crying and all that craziness. It's beautiful. It also has the amber in there, but I don't get a lot of amber. It has uh, sandalwood as well, but I just get a hint. It's it's a very floral, fresh fragrance. It's a little bit, a hint of musky, but it's very extremely like a soapy, floral scent. If you think of rose water, that's pretty much what this smells like. Lily of the Valley and rose water with a hint of melon. I love this scent. Oh, actually, I love both of them so much and I'm happy to have them in my, in my collection. So that's my review. Let me know, do you guys have any scents from Issey Miyake? Would you be interested in them? Um, and if you have some other scents from them, recommend them to me because I think I really like what he is doing. This actually, fun fact, it came out the year I was born. So if you wanna know how old I am, Google your friend, bro. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.